So let's now move to the operator part of this adaption. So I would like to start by Petrobras, and it's uh, Leonardo Mello. So please, Leonardo. Hi, everyone. I am Leonardo Mello. I'm a data consultant at Petrobras. I'm also the tech lead for the WestU project. So my mission today is to guide you through our company journey using OSTU. So the first topic will be about our upstream data architecture. So we have quite an unusual architecture, so it's important to present to you so you can understand some of the decisions we've made with OSTU. After that, I will present the, the journey itself, some objectives, the architecture that we implemented, and the last topic will be the roadmap, so I will uh, position things in time that we've been doing. So we have um, a, a problem, an integration problem for a lot of years. So around 20 years ago, we received an order from business like, you need to fix the integration problems. We had a lot of inconsistencies and we have uh, a lot of uh, databases with the same data. So we didn't have an official uh, database where we could get the master data. So we had a project like 20 years ago to build this uh, upstream integrated database. So this is our uh, place to our official data from upstream. And we started with a transactional component. So it's the one that is a big oracle. Each application has its own schema inside this database. So we have well data, field data, oil rigs, and all master data is in there. So we have around uh, 20,000 tables on this database. And we, uh, we have over 300 applications reading and writing data from there. We also created a files component. So that is where we store the seismic files and also um, spreadsheets, PDFs, images, and it's where we store the documents that we sent to regulation. ANP is the regulation in Brazil. So other interesting thing is that we have all the metadata on this files component, so everything is related to the transactional component. So I can say that a file is related to a specific well on the transactional component. We have millions of files there, and we have over 20 uh, petabytes of data on this files component. So this is a really old architecture, but it fixes the problem of integration between internal solutions. So we are going to OSDU to cover the gaps that we don't have on this architecture. So the, the main one is interoperability because uh, we have fixed the problem with internal solutions, but we still have a big problem with external solutions. So we have a big team to extract uh, some data from one tool and ingest the data on another. It takes a lot of time and the end user can get the data in the tool he wants uh, and the time he wants. So this is a big problem we had. We try to use PPDM on past time also open spirit, but we never had a good solution for this. So we really believe that with the OSTU, we can finally fix this since every, uh, the, the community is together. So I really think that's the time we can fix it. We also want to view the data. Uh, so it doesn't matter where it was reading. We want all data on OSTU so we can plug some visualization too and see everything that is there. We also want to provide data to data scientists. So OSDU have a lot of APIs, so that, that's a good way to give data to data scientists. And the last one would be the data sharing between companies. Um, when we need to share data, usually we send some uh, spreadsheets, some PDFs, and that's not a good way to use the data because they will need someone to type the data in their systems so they can use. We did a proof of concept with this with Shell Brazil. So we ingested some data in OSTU and gave them some access so they visu visualize the data there. So that we think that's the best way to share data between companies since everyone sh should be uh, OSTU ready. 
So we, we plan to use that again, uh, maybe next year when we have a more definitive version of OSDU. So talking about architecture, on the left side we have our integrated database. So that's also different from what we've been seeing. Um, we didn't do the applications integration directly with the OSTU. As I said, we have uh, hundreds of applications there and that will take uh, a lot of effort to adapt all of them. And even the ones that don't write data, they will need to adapt to read data from OSTU. So we decided to not change that. So we created an ingestion directly from our integrated database to the OSTU. This is an automated process so we did a full load one time, and then we keep updating every day on night. We have uh, just a, a delta ingestion with the difference. So all the master data will be ingested directly from this database. And we have um, the, the external solutions to ingest the project data. So master data comes from the integrated database and project data from the external solutions. So the idea here is for interoperability. So one tool can ingest data and other tools can read it. That's what we want. And we want to use the dashboards on this, on the OSDU and provide data to data scientists, as I said. And in some specific cases, we may need, uh, one application may need to get data from OSDU. We're, for instance, we have CGL that is an interpretation tool, so it would be nice if it's integrated with, uh, directly with OSDU. But the other solutions that already write and read data from our integrated database, they don't need to get data from OSDU, so that's what we plan. So mainly external solutions, uh, ingesting project data and reading, and only some internal solutions that need interpretation data would get from the OSDU. So we deployed this on Azure, and we have three environments. So we have development, testing, and production. We have this up and running with all the ingestion uh, on a daily basis, as I said, for well, well bore, well logs, fields, and basing. And we intend to keep increasing the concepts that we are ingesting. Then we install Admi, that is the managed version of uh, OSU in Microsoft. We installed it on a US subscription and loaded the same data, so we have the pipeline is getting data there as well. So the thing is, we got um, a big problem installing this because we got a lot of errors running the scripts and in the templates, so we did a partnership with Microsoft to do the installation, and that's when we decided that we needed to get the managed version. So if we had such a bad time doing the installation, uh, the managed version would fix that. So whenever we need to change versions, uh, it will be a lot easier since we'll just uh, press a button and let uh, Microsoft do this. We also had some problems with the security rules in Petrobras because every storage and database need to have private endpoints. So this is not expected on your SDU. So we needed to change the scripts and templates to do the installation and do some configuration after. But yeah, we were able to do it, so it's working now, but it was uh, an extra step that we had to take because of some um, security rules in, in Brazil. We also did the, the data, ma data mapping. It was more complicated than we expected because our data model is quite different from the one in OSDU. Uh, this is kind of our fault since we were not participating that much in the data modeling sessions. We intend to change that, we intend to be more active in the OSTU forum so we can get uh, closer. So this is, just to show some results, so this is uh, two dashboards that we created. Um, the, the left one with some wells and some positioning. In, in the map and some well logs that it took directly from the OSTU. So we did all the process, the ingestion, uh, the, the mapping, the ingestion, the automated ingestion, and we can see that on the dashboards. So the final topic will be uh, the roadmap. 
So we did a proof of concept with the OSDU. Actually, it started on 21. It was the one with AWS and with Shell Brazil where we tested the uh, data sharing. We also did a proof of concept with Azure and we didn't see a big difference between the, uh, both solutions. They were really good, any of them. So we decided to go with Azure just because we have um, other data platform for corporate data that was already on Azure, so it just makes sense to be on the same place. So business prioritized on Q2, the installation of OSDU, we got the confirmation that we would move in that direction. And then we installed uh, the OSDU on Azure on Q2. Then we started to do the ingestion, so we ingested well and well logs. Well log was prioritized by business, so we ingested this uh, both these data. And that's when we started the first internal solution to test the APIs. So it's already connecting to it, but SCGL also has access to our integrated database. We first need some more um, external solutions to ingest data there so CGL can get value from this integration. So on Q4, we started the installation of Admi. It's on a US subscription. That's kind of a problem for us because Admi is not available in Brazil yet. So this is expected to be only on Q3 when the Admi goes on GA. So that's what we've been expecting from Microsoft. So that's when we will move to our definitive version of OSDU. When we install this, we intend to turn off the other versions, the Admi on US and the, the current OSDU we, we have been using. So we started testing the seismic ingestion. For now, we, we are only ingesting the metadata, but we intend to start to ingest files soon. We also started the integration with the data science marketplace. This is our internal solution for the data scientists. And we also started to do some connections with uh, Ptrail and DSG. Um, on Q3, we expect business to prioritize other internal solution. So no, for now, we only have CGL prioritized. So we think we'll have uh, one or two more solutions to integrate uh, on the beginning of the next year. And on Q4, we um, intend to finalize the ingestion of Seismic. So we intend to have this uh, also up and running by the end of the year. This will be like uh, the mission for for this year to be this, um, to make this run okay, because the seismics are, are really big, and we have a lot of data as well. So, this uh, on the first testing it took a long time. So, that that's the challenge we have to ingest everything there. And on Q4 is when we expect to get some value generation because we will have already ingested data from uh, our integrated database or the master data. We also have some external solutions uh, with ingested data, and we also have our internal solutions of data marketplace and CGL connecting to it. So that's when we expect to have uh, to, to generate value using a OSDU structure. Yeah. So. So thank you.